Good morning. It's 9 a.m. Friday, July 28th, 2023. Welcome to the Good News Live at 9 on Facebook and available later on our YouTube channel. Please be sure to comment in the chat. This is a presentation of the Allen Park Presbyterian Church. Good morning, everyone. I'm Suzanne Maxey. I'm an elder at Allen Park Pres. And good morning to my co-host, Carrie Van. Hi there. Good morning to you, Suzanne. And so happy that you have your power back this morning. Prayer. Yes, prayers, prayers have been answered, at least mine. And yeah. I'm sure yours as well. Yes. And welcome to the last Friday in July of 2023. Wow. Oh, summer is really flying by, isn't it? As soon as we get past July 4th, I feel like that happens every year. So <laughs> every year. So I am trying to find our live. If you want to do a couple of announcements, I'm going to look so I can turn on the chat. Oh, there you go. Okay, well, right. Sunday is worship at 10 a.m. in the sanctuary and live stream on Facebook and YouTube. Hope you can join us. The Memorial Committee of the session has announced that this year's college scholarship recipients will be recognized and awarded their scholarships during worship on August 13th. So please join us in celebrating their achievements. Yes, and, and hopefully there'll be a number of them available um, at worship and we can congratulate them in person and if they're not, in spirit. Yep. And then you're going to be doing something today. As soon as the show's over, you're going to zoom over there, aren't you? That is correct. I will be meeting my favorite kitchen friends and we will be making lunch for Christ Not. Hopefully they have power and it'll be nice and cool in there. Otherwise, we've done it without power. Nothing stops us. We have a great crew. Looking forward to doing that. Just Very keep much on so. Keeping on, huh? uh, we'll say hi to a couple of people while we move on. Hi, Kevin Vaughn, Robin Allen, Amy Bowerman, Norma Bentley, Judy Sutherland. Hello, Pat. Clemens, it's good to see you from Team Wade. They have new purple shirts, which I'm excited about. Need to get one of those soon for Team Wade. Very good promoter of the City of Elm Park and events going on. What else do we have going on, Sue? Because we have a very exciting guest today. We do. Yes, Norma said her granddaughter, Sophie, will be there to receive her scholarship. She's very grateful. Well, one thing that's happening every Friday is farmer's markets today from three to seven in the parking lot across from the church. And I think if you get to the farmer's market early, you should be good. I know it's going to be a hot day, but it will probably be a very good day to go to the farmer's market. And there was a couple other things I saw that were going on. Yep. Uh, the Allen Park David Rogers and the Songs of Disney is tonight at 6 p.m., but I don't know where. Do you know where? I wish I would have wrote down where that was, but I will look it up and put it in the chat later on. Sorry, Sue. Okay. <laughs> Sorry about that. That was really cool. <laughs> and I think it's the Elm Park Public Library, but I can't be sure. So just I will look it up and stick it in there for you. Good well, morning. the Elm Park Library is also um, having a carnival tomorrow saturday july 29th from 10 30 to noon and is that at the library yes i believe it is sue your parking lot yes i believe that it is be fun too absolutely I'll come out and support the library um and also uh what is this uh tomorrow evening starting at seven there's going to be karaoke it's a summer blast karaoke karaoke <laughs> Presented by the Father Sailor Knights of Columbus. That's on Champaign in Allen Park, the KFC there. Um, I'm not sure if it's only tomorrow night or if it's going to be continuing all summer. That would be fun. But for sure, tomorrow night, public is welcome and there's no cover charge. So if you like to sing, come out and sing with, at the KFC. Yeah, then nice in August, you got to save the date, Friday, August 18th. The Nurture Discipleship Committee is being bringing us a new, a new thing. Okay, where did all my? I'm pushing my buttons and I'm losing myself here. Oh, there we go. 
Okay, game night. It's Friday, August 18th in the parlor from seven to nine. We're gonna play games. We're gonna have some snacks. If you wanna bring some snacks to share, that's fine. If you don't, you don't have to. And we will have water and lemonade. Can't wait for that, Sue. It's on my calendar. I love playing games and board games. I have a great game I'm gonna bring. And- uh, We'll have to can't... find you three people to play Euchre, I know. Yes, I, and I brought another game, which a lot of people can play, and it's easy, so can't wait for game night. That's going to be really fun. Looking forward to that myself. And then we have one last thing before we bring in our guest, and that's another save the date. Uh, it's the American Red Cross Blood Drive. You know, you can only donate blood every so often, so keep this date in mind. It's Friday, September 8th from noon to six in our fellowship building right it used to be every 56 days too so i don't i'm assuming that's still the case that's why i've been advertising it so early so thank you make sure you save the date go right to our fellowship building give blood our blood um drives always do really well so we thank everyone who participates so we have a very exciting guest today sue do you want to do an intro or do you want me to do it why don't you do it I've been All, right. Well, All right, well, today our special guest is our church organist, Christine El Hajj. She, she has been with our church since she was 14 years old. She has worked with the church for 17 years. I, I feel like she has so many accomplishments, but I think that for somebody so young, can you just imagine? So we are here and christine has joined us Hi, good morning christine. christine hello good morning you don't look like you've been uh working for us for 17 years <laughs> you're only 14 when you started huh yeah it's crazy wow yeah no kidding yeah it's nice to be here thank you so much oh you're so welcome i remember when you first started your dad would drive you to to church Yep. So, Couldn't drive. Yet. Just, <laughs> yep. She could not drive, but she worked at the church. I think that's amazing. Thank you. And I am obviously I'm a Facebook stalker and I bring <laughs> up a lot of things. I, I know they were arrested for that. <laughs> I mean, not not in a bad way, just in a good way, looking around. But I, I know you have a lot, a lot of exciting things going on right now, Christine. I know you were an elementary school teacher and now you've taken a new position at U of M. Correct. Yeah. Um, I, I've been teaching elementary music for six years now, um, but uh, this past spring U of M uh, reached out to me and asked if I wanted to um, be a graduate student instructor, a GSI. And so I would be, I will be teaching um, two courses in the fall and the winter. So I'll be teaching musicology in the fall and winter um, intro classes. So I'll be dealing with a lot of freshmen and sophomores, uh, but I'm, I'm super excited. This is something I've always wanted to do. So they're bigger kids than what you're normally used to though, right? Correct. Yeah. It's kind of like the opposite end of the, I, I, you know, I was at K through three for this past six years oh, wow. and now I'm going <laughs> college age. So it's, it's definitely going to be different, but it's something that I've, I've been really wanting to try and see if I, if I like it. So I'm really excited. It's gonna be a blast. And graduate yeah. means that you've gone beyond your bachelor's. You've even gone beyond your master's, and you're officially a, a doctorate can a doctoral candidate, right? Correct. Yep. Congrats. Yep. Yeah, I've got. Thank you. Yeah, it was a it was quite a journey getting there. Um, but I've got one more year, hopefully. I don't know, year, year and a half, if I if I need it. But um, one more year of just uh, finishing things up, and I'll uh, hopefully have that doctorate in my hand. So I know most doctorates have to do a big thesis that's their big thing that they have to do is it the same for you or is it the playing that you have to do it's mostly the playing because I, i'm not getting a phd like a lot of people do mine is called a dma which is a doctor of musical arts and so with a dma instead of writing like a 100 or 200 page research paper um, i have to perform three full-length concerts and uh, also write a smaller document based on some research that I have to do. So, um, so I have to do three recitals and a paper within the next year, theoretically. <laughs> Where we, do you have to do those recitals at a particular place or? 
So um, one of them has to be on campus because I'm going to be playing the bells. I play the carillon um, and I'm doing one of my recitals on the bells and you don't really find carillons very many places. So one of them will definitely be on campus. Um, I'm pretty certain the other two will be as well, just because I have the resources there. But you know, I if I really wanted to, I could choose any organ as long as it suited my needs, and I could have a recital outside of campus. It just it'll it depends. We'll see where I, I decide to do it. So no, Allen Park Press has an organ. Did you know that? I, you know, it was. <laughs> I have seriously thought about it. It's not out of my it's not out of my mind quite yet. I'm I'm considering it strongly, but I I, I don't want to say anything yet because I just <laughs> okay. Not sure. You won't let it out of the bag then. No, no. <laughs> Yeah, we always talk about stuff that we shouldn't be talking about here. So yeah, of course we do. <laughs> it, it gives us hope. It gives us hope. This is something to look forward to. Yeah. So, so I understand that you like the Titanic, the 1912 Titanic era. Yes. Well, what's that all about? Um, well yeah, it's Not funny. Food. I was just talking to somebody about this yesterday. Um, I don't know, I guess, you know, Titanic came out when I was about five, I think, 97, <laughs> if I remember correctly, you know, and so I got caught up in the whole Titanic, Titanic media, you know, the mania behind it, and, um, and my parents, for whatever reason, let me watch it at a pretty young age, you know, they, they closed my eyes to some scenes, but, um, <laughs> you know, but I, I watched it, and there's just something about it, and I, I became, like, wildly obsessed with it as a child, and I, you know, would always buy books, and I would be reading on it, and I'd be, I'd spend all my time with it. And it's just something that I've always been fascinated in. I, I, I couldn't tell you really why, but I, not just the movie, but the ship itself. I've been to many museums and I just, I really, I don't know. I just have a really strong passion for it. I just, I think it's a very interesting part of history. So um, I just try to keep up with it whenever I can. So it's just a little- I think it's, I think it's really cool because you and Patty Allen always play a Titanic song near the anniversary. And yeah. I always, I always pick up on it. I've always got like the ship and the, in the graphics. That's right. That right. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. There's a couple like movie um, pieces that we play like from the movie, but then there are, I mean, we've also performed um, like one of the famous hymns, the last hymns that was played on the ship at the end um, near my God to thee. That's one of my favorites. And so it is church appropriate for sure. And, and Patty has always been able to find some beautiful arrangements for flute and piano. So that's all her. I give her the credit for finding all the music. She really does a good job, but yeah, we, we, we enjoy, it's something that's between Patty and I, we both love the ship, the movie, all of it. It's been, it's, it's a lot of fun. So. Oh, it's, it's, it's such a great opportunity that, um, oh, Andrea Seabloom said that her daughter Beth loves the Titanic too took her to the Henry Ford to see it. That doesn't surprise me. Yeah, yes. Beth and I were very good friends growing up. So we, we always had a lot in common. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. That's yeah. wonderful. So mm -hmm. Some of the research that you have to do for your for your doctorate, mm -hmm. can that be on like period music or what, what kind of research is it that you're gonna have to do? Well, so um, my doctorate is in sacred music. It's not technically organ, but with sacred music comes the pipe organ and that's the, that's the instrument that is accompanied with it. Um, and so because it's sacred music, I do have to find research that pertains to sacred music in some way. And so um, because my heritage, my family is from Lebanon and in Lebanon we are, um, well, I just found out that I am officially a Maronite Catholic, which is an Eastern rite. I always thought because I was baptized Roman Catholic, I would be Roman Catholic, but turns out because my parents are both Maronite Catholic, um, that's what I am. And so the Maronite Catholic Church is still Catholic. We still are, you know, follow the Pope and whatnot and believe all the same things, but there's just some differences and in that the music is different. Um, and so I'm hoping to do some research um, because there's really not much out there about the Maronite um, like hymn, hymnody traditions and, and whatnot. And there's a lot of chant that goes along with Maronite um, sacred music. So I'm, I'm hoping to kind of uh, expand that and, and, and contribute something to to the world of sacred music because that's just not something that's talked about very often so that's what i'm planning wow to do. christine that is a great that is a great niche to to yeah i'm really excited because about. i get to learn stuff too and i it's some you know it's just something that i'm passionate about so it's it's i'm pretty excited yeah um one of our watchers um who has black labs um, Christy needs to meet Wade and her four-legged friends. Well, Pat, you better bring Wade and 
Miss O'Hara up to the church soon because Christine loves dogs. And what you have a do you have a lab too, right? A golden? Uh no, a black lab. I've got a well, I mean, I technically I, yeah, I have a black lab. I'll call him mine. I'm getting married in, in two weeks. So he's he's gonna yes. be mine. Well, we adopt Pat and I adopted him together. So yes, Bentley is my black lab. I adore him. I kept him out of this room because he is a bit of a nuisance sometimes, but um, he is my favorite creature on the planet. I love him so much. I will do anything for that dog. So he is a year and a half. We got him last May. So all right. So there, there you go, team. I would Wade. love to meet Wade. I've heard all about all him. Yeah. All right. She has heard all about Wade. So you're going to have to come up to church on a Sunday. Christine, if you don't know, Christine is, is going to be moving on from the church. She is going to be, um, worshiping with her husband she's getting married in two weeks to her fiance pat and she will her last day will be september 3rd so you got till september 3rd to bring wade up there to see her after church um andrea c bloom says i'd say how very honored we are to have known christine and watched her grow up into music since middle school it's been a privilege for our family oh thank you our whole church yeah. family. absolutely thank you yeah, that was a pretty, too. That was a pretty Ryan. <laughs> no, don't cry. Don't do that. <laughs> we can't be sad because this is really like a fantastic thing for Christine. She's reaching her goals with education, with her life, with her fiance, and, and with the what she's gonna do moving forward. So I mean, we have gotten 17 wonderful years. She's <laughs> been directing the choir, brought that back after the pandemic. I know they're heartbroken. But of course, this is not a sad thing. This is a good thing. Thank you. I, I was really sad to even, you know, think about moving on and, and whatnot. But the the support and the love and the excitement that everybody has been giving me has just been, has made it so much better. I feel better. I was so torn up and so nervous and so sad and, and anxious. And my stomach was in knots, you know, and I just, um, it's it's been really really nice that everybody has been so supportive i'm, I'm really really lucky I, I grew up at this church you know it's 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 been my home for so long so right. it's, it's really important to me and family and will is. support you family always supports right. you, what you, yes, do. you will, you will never you'll never lose us because we will always follow your achievements Thank and you. we will always be here and i know Pastor Jim, keep talking you i think too so <laughs> that's fine <laughs> that's all right <laughs> i don't mind you can't get you can't get rid of us that easy. That's okay. <laughs> so tell us about your wedding. Are you oh, ready? Yeah. <laughs> Do you have your, are you ready for your wedding? I've been telling people I'm ready to get married. Yes. Um, <laughs> am I ready, ready, ready for the wedding? Uh, I'm a little, I, I, I mean, all, everything is in place. You know, I've just got little tiny details and I've just got to get, you know, the day of stuff sorted out. And, um, yeah, I, I think I'm ready. I'm just, it's, it's very nerve wracking. I'm very nervous, you know, yes. but I, I actually had a bad nightmare yesterday about it. I've been having nightmares. <laughs> so it, but yeah. I think that's normal. Right. I hope. But no it, cold it, it, feet though, right? Your feet are no still cold feet. Feet, right? No. No, 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 I'm very ready. Yeah. No, I think, it, I think it's normal, Christine, but you have to understand that the, when that day starts rolling out, it's going to be what it is and you just want to enjoy it because it goes so fast Roll with the punches. That's little right. things little things do not matter That's your right. love your love for your family oh, and your fiance so. is what matters absolutely yeah no are i'm, you gonna I'm have, very excited are you going to have the dog in the wedding or is that going to be a no unfortunately <laughs> no <laughs> unfortunately I, I wish he could be our little ring bearer but no we, we cannot we will not be having him <laughs> we're having a big church wedding and it's just not I don't think it's it's allowed or you know no we're not we're not we're keeping them actually uh Deanna is so kind enough she will be watching little Bentley for a day and a half at least <laughs> oh she loves him she yeah oh that's that's I didn't even know that yeah yeah so. I, it's really hard to find someone because we have a wedding in our family coming up and there's no one to watch the dog because everyone is going you know what I mean right so it, right good thing oh, we <laughs> Deanna is trustworthy and great and, uh, you know, highly recommend. <laughs> Put a plug in for it. That's right. <laughs> Thanks for that plug. The mm -hmm. dog whisperer. Yeah. <laughs> so, so, Christine, you have honeymoon oh, plans and can you let us in on them? Uh, yeah, we, uh, we're leaving the Monday after the wedding. So we're leaving the 13th, 14th, 
um, whatever that Monday is. And uh, we are spending a little under two weeks. We're doing half in Tuscany, Italy. We're doing wine touring, Ooh. wine country. And then we're going to the south of France for some beach time on the Mediterranean. Oh, wow. Yeah, it's, it's, like, it's literally my dream honeymoon. I, I, somebody asked me what my dream was and that that was exactly it. So I'm, I'm really excited. It's going to be wonderful. It is going to be wonderful. Absolutely yeah. wonderful. And try not to, like I said earlier, try not to get too nervous about things mm -hmm. because everybody who's coming is there because they love and support you. Thank you. You know, something flies on the floor or something. Who cares? Like, right. right? right. You're yeah. going to be beautiful. It's going to be a beautiful day. And you. when it's all over, you're going to be married. And yeah. I guess we don't have to learn a new name. I was thinking, how am I ever going to call her by a different name? Because you know what I mean? That would have been hard, but we could have got past right. that. No. <laughs> well, I am, <laughs> I'm kind of keeping my my last name. It'll be my, my middle name. I don't have a middle name. So I'm just kind of moving El Haj over. So It'll, it'll be in there. So, All right, great. That's that's yeah. perfect. <laughs> and it, it looks like you're realizing your dreams when it comes to your career as well as um, your education. So, I mean, it's all going to click. Yeah, I hope click. so. It's going to be a year, a really big year of change in almost every part of my life. That's so a little scary, but um, I'm, oh, I'm excited. It's all good things, you know, so, but every single part of my life feels like it's going to be different, which is okay. It's not a bad thing, but it's kind of hitting all at once, <laughs> but yeah, um, it, so I'm, I'm really it, blessed. It, it's hard when you have to move out of your parents' house and yeah. start a new, and it, it, it's hard, but it, it'll be fine, and it, it's worth it, and, yeah, you know, you've waited so long for this day to come, but it, I mean, it is a lot of change, but change is not always um, a bad thing. No, it makes, no. It makes life interesting. That's right. And th things that are hard and difficult make life interesting too. You just got to yeah. look at it that way. Um, yeah. Barry and Margo said, good morning from the UP. Judy Martin said, we hope to see lots of pictures. Blessings on your exciting future. Yeah. Norma Bentley, thank you for sharing your talents with us. We will miss you. I wish you all the best in the new chapter of your life. Um, Team Wade said, great interview today. Of course. All right. What's our time? All right. Did we get through all of our questions, Sue? Oh, I don't know what. Um, once you get your doctorate, mm -hmm. what do you what do you uh, what do you think it'll your life will look like your your career? What are you hoping to, to do with it? It's a good question. Um, a lot of people ask me that, and I'm and not. You have an answer? <laughs> well, I mean, I have an idea of what I'd like to do, whether it happens or not. We'll see. But you know, and um, teaching in college this next year is a huge step towards what I want to do, which ultimately I would really love to continue teaching in a college um, in some sort of university setting. Yeah, um, I'm not interested in being a touring musician. I don't want to go play organs or, you know, if I if I can play an organ around the world, cool, but I'm not going to be like a, a touring professional musician playing like that. I, I would rather I would rather teach. Um, I will always have some sort of church job, I'm sure, because that's what we do as organists. Um, and uh, and I, teaching, I just wanna teach. Teach private lessons, teach college courses. And even if I have to teach elementary school, I would not be upset. It's um, something that I've enjoyed. So I think just teaching in whatever capacity that I can, so. That sounds wonderful. Yeah. That sounds wonderful. That, that's the plan, we'll see. So is your, your wedding, like your colors and everything or is the like theme or whatever of like 1912 is your dress look like uh Kate well, would, would wear it or <laughs> oh man I'm not going to comment on the dress because that's okay. <laughs> top secret that been, um, yes. but Kat um hasn't seen it I take it <laughs> I'm sorry Kat hasn't seen it I no it. absolutely not it is in my house tucked away very very discreetly um but no I mean I I kind of um I was so overwhelmed with wedding planning that I I feel like I, I couldn't think of anything. I just wanted to get things squared away. But no, my, my colors are, um, the girls are gonna wear a really pretty light pink, like a, a, um, a blush rose pink. Um, and the guys are having navy blue suits uh, with pink ties and um, just very, I don't know, nothing crazy, nothing too, but just, that's kind of me. I'm, I'm just, I just like some little cutesy little, you know, details like that. So. Um, I'm, I'm really excited. I think, I think it'll all turn out really well. 
So it's going to be fantastic. Don't yeah. you worry about that, hon. Thank it's you. going to be very, very nice. It's got a little Barbie flair to it, too. Yeah, I, I guess so. I, I started. Yeah. I mean, I picked these colors before. Well, yeah, before I really got into all the Barbie stuff. <laughs> but <laughs> that's all right. Well, you're, Have you're you seen the Barbie better. movie? I did see it. Yeah. I, my, my good friend took me out for my birthday last week. We went out for a, a little movie date, her and I, and, and we saw the Barbie movie. It was very cute. I was very, imp- I mean, as a, I, I will admit, I played with Barbies growing up, of course. And uh, I, I, it was so funny, all the little, the little puns and, and references to the old dolls, you know, it was, it was great. It was a lot of fun. Yeah. You had a birthday somewhere in all of this t- telling telling us that you were going to move on and a birthday, I, I think a wedding shower and all kinds of stuff happening. A bachelorette party, what a uh, birthday. And then all the, it's been, it's been just a, a wild ride past couple of weeks. I will say, yeah, my birthday was uh, less than a week ago. Last oh, Saturday. Happy belated birthday. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. We sang yeah, you on in church on Sunday, didn't we? You sure did. I got, the, I got the carol on to play. Yeah. That was, that was really interesting. That was really, really quite a treat. Enjoyed it. Yeah. It was really sweet. So have you recorded all of the uh, hymns in the book for the for <laughs> Andrea and Russ to, to play? You have, you have time. You have time. Yeah, right? yeah. Time. No, I, I, I do. I do have to get in there and record the the three Sundays in August that I, I will be out of town. Um, so I I got to get in there. That's my that's my project for the next week. Got to do it, Christine. You would you would probably laugh, but we have um we have a church calendar and then we have like an office calendar that Rita. Yeah. that reader puts together while you're gone every day it's this in all caps christine gone do not contact christine <laughs> <laughs> i was like, I was like we're, oh not we're not gonna bother we're not gonna bother her on her honeymoon <laughs> that's so it's, funny i mean I, if there's something that needs attention please don't hesitate <laughs> I oh, yeah, like you. you're going to be able to do anything from the south well, of france that's or true yes. right I'm not gonna, yeah right <laughs> Yeah, right. If something happens, we're not going to bother you in the okay. south of France on your honeymoon on the beach. We will I just appreciate it. do not worry. Okay. What are we doing with the organ? It's not playing. How do we pull the stops out? Yeah. Sorry, can't help. Well, <laughs> yep, we will figure it out. You don't even worry about that. All right. Well, we are starting to get to the end of our time with you, and I can't uh, tell you how much we appreciate this. You were so willing just jump right in. I know your head is spinning with all you have going on, but I just can't thank you enough. I'm sure people, we have had a lot of people watching and I'm sure they're very happy to hear about all all your wonderful plans and wish you nothing but the best, Christine. Thank you all so much. I I have said it before, but this church has done so much for me and I I will never, ever forget it. And I will never be able to thank everybody enough. I mean, I, I owe a lot to, to Alan Park. So, well, so we, you will always be our church family, no matter where you are, or what you do, we will always be church family. That's how we are. Thank you. As Sue you. has picked a special scripture for you today, which she's going to throw up on the screen. Wonderful. It is Psalm 108. Oh, my heart. Oh, God is steadfast. I will sing and make music with all my soul. And I'm sure you will. Thank you so much. We're 100% sure of that. So we all wish Christine the best. Um, If you want to leave a card for Christine, um, go ahead and try to get that done. Leave it at the church. We'll make sure she gets them. I'm sure she has a mailbox there uh, for her wedding. Um, Sure, there'll be something coming up on September 3rd or sometime soon. Just keep watching the website or the email blast. And remember, you are a beloved child of God. God loves you, and so do we. Thank you again, Christine. Thank you to all of our viewers. Everybody is throwing up hearts. Um, They all enjoyed this interview. Everyone said, we love you, Christine. We'll miss you. And Robin Allen said, once you're family, you're always family. Thank you, Christine. We love you so much. Thank you so much. Love you guys. Thank you. Have a great day, everyone. Be sure to join Pastor Tim for devotions on 9 a.m. Monday through Thursday on Facebook, too. So bye, everyone. Have a great week. Bye, everyone. Thank you.